Welcome to my chaotic kitchen, summer recipe edition, or really any recipe edition, but you know, especially in the summertime. Um, we're gonna make some raspberry jewel bombs. Um, so you want some raspberries, fresh or frozen. If they're frozen, make sure you defrost them first. They will get refrozen, but we wanna kind of smush them with a fork to make like a jammy consistency. And then you're also gonna want a sheet tray, like a prepared sheet tray. I have one with my reusable um, silicone baking sheet or parchment paper, whatever works is fine. And we are just gonna mash these with our fork. These are something really quick and simple. Um, it could be like a really nice um, you know, if you need to pop a chocolate during the day, um, but you still want to get a lot of the fiber without the blood sugar boost, this is going to be a really good way to do that. Um, again, what, everything we eat, we kind of want, you know, a carb, a fat, and a fiber, and protein. Um, so this is going to be our fresh fiber right here. We're also going to be adding another fresh fiber and also... Uh, fat protein in one. <laughs> Make sure you get the whole strawberries. There might be some hiding in there once you get kind of um, mashed up a little bit. We don't want whole ones. We just want pulverized ones. And once it kind of looks like this nice goop, we're gonna add in some chia seeds. This is where our protein's gonna come in. It's got five grams of protein per serving. Um, it's also what's gonna kind of thicken this up a bit. So you're just gonna take your, your teaspoon. I put in two. And we're just gonna mix that up. And the chia seeds are gonna get kind of stuck to the sides because they like uh, water, they like liquid. And this is gonna thicken it up just a bit before we stick it in our freezer and prepare our chocolate that we're gonna cover this with. So already we got our fat, fiber, protein. We have a carb because fruits are carbs. And we're also gonna cover it in chocolate, which is also gonna be your carb. If you want to, you could also add in, like you can freeze these, do like a layer of Greek yogurt on top, freeze that, and then dip them in chocolate and freeze it is another way that you can get even more protein with these if you're looking for like a sweet treat. So. We got our bowl. We're going to, I'm gonna move you guys over here. Um, to my prepared baking sheet. We're just gonna scoop them out onto the baking sheet. They don't have to be like a perfect size. They're not gonna spread, so you can just scoop them out. You can do big ones, small ones. It's really whatever you want. The smaller they are, the quicker they'll freeze. So keep that in mind. If you want something that's got kind of quick freezeability. So I ended up making 12, a very much not the same size one. And we are going to stick these in the freezer for about five to 10 minutes. Just so that they set. All right, 
Now allow that to do in its thing. Time for chocolate. I like to use a mix of dark and semi-sweet. You're gonna grab a small bowl. You don't want too, too much. Um, we just want enough to cover and melt. I'm gonna do about half of my container of semi-sweet, half dark chocolate, maybe, there we go. I'd rather you guys go under than over on these because otherwise we just have chocolate. So from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take olive oil or coconut oil. You're gonna pour that oil over the top. And we're gonna microwave it at 30 second increments. And then we're gonna mix it. <laughs> Now we wait. You can probably guess where this is going. We're going to, once those are frozen, coat them in chocolate, put them back in the freezer, and then let them freeze. And then they're ready to eat. It's pretty simple. It doesn't take too long, which is nice. All right, we got 30 seconds. We're gonna stir it. We're gonna get water off of our spoon and then we're gonna stir it. Now you may be like, that's weird, we're using olive oil. It's not. If you wanna use butter, you can use butter. And we're gonna stir until smooth. If you need to microwave it again, microwave it again. I like to do this for as long as I can before microwaving it because chocolate tempers. And I don't want it to bloom. Which is when there's like the white kind of stuff on your chocolate, that's bloom. Basically means that it, it was tempered incorrectly. And all that means is it was either chilled or heated too fast. And it just means you have a poorer quality chocolate. We are getting there. Probably put this in for another 15 seconds. Try to get all the chocolate as I can off the spoon. All right, back into my microwave. We'll go with 10. I'm just gonna keep stirring this spoon so it doesn't drop anywhere, or droop. business if I get chocolate on my microwave again we're just gonna mix it until it is done so it is incorporated which it just about is We got our nice smooth chocolate. We want to keep it, you know, able to coat. 
We don't want it to get super thick, so we may have to microwave this a couple of times, like back a couple of times. Those are not done yet. <laughs> And now we wait. <laughs> but basically what you're gonna do if you do wanna head out of this, um, I'm hoping it won't take enough, more than another five minutes, but that's also gonna be five minutes of silence. So I also don't wanna really do that to you guys. So once this is melted, this lovely chocolate that we have, our whole bowl of chocolate, and again, if you need more, you can microwave more as you need, but this should be roughly enough to cover all 12 um, of mine, because I made them pretty small. So. Once they're done in the freezer, again, five to 10 minutes. I checked after five, they were not ready. Um, so I will check again in another five and see if they're ready. Um, you will take them out of the freezer, touch the top, make sure they're not gooey. You want them to be solid. If they're not solid, put them back in the freezer for another five minutes, okay? Um, you are going to then dip them. So you're gonna drop them in your bowl of chocolate and then you're just gonna turn it around so the whole thing is coated in chocolate. You're gonna stick it right back on that same exact tray that you just took it off and you're just gonna keep going in a nice line, chocolate coating every single one of them. And then you're going to put those in the freezer and you're just gonna freeze them until you wanna eat them. Um, if you wanna eat them right away, uh, maybe wait like an hour um, so that they're really solid and that chocolate really sets. Um, but that's about it, that's how you make my raspberry jewel bombs um, that kind of cover all the bases of what we want to see in like a snack or a meal. Like I said, if you want more protein, um, feel free to use a Greek yogurt and freeze that on top. It's just gonna take a little bit longer as a process because we have to wait for things to freeze. Um, but that is how you do that. If you have any questions on how to make them, feel free to comment below.